Today I'm headed to the Democratic State Convention. I'm going to do my part to help make the world a better place. I couldn't figure out where to pay for parking. Hopefully it's free, especially because I've had a dozen other people ask me like, Hey, did you pay? Because I couldn't figure out where to pay. My father taught us to care for our community, to be responsible citizens, to claim our democracy. Gotta stay hydrated. Before I go any further, I have to take care of some real serious business. I have to take a selfie with everybody right now, so let's get this done. We may have different roles in this game of life, but we all have the same vision. We're trying to help people. We're trying to fight for people. We want people to have a better livelihood. We will fight for opportunity for all. We will stand up and be engaged to help everybody. Different instruments, but the same song of harmony. That means that we can come from different backgrounds, but we all stand for one another. That means that I may not be a woman, but I'm still a feminist. That means that I won't be of the rural community, but I can stand up for the rural community and understand the issues going on in rural communities. That means we're going to stand up for the LGBTQ community. We're going to stand up for women. We're going to stand up for the Indians and Sikh community. We're going to stand up for our Native American community. We're going to stand up for people with disabilities. We're going to stand up for black folk and Latino folk and Asian American folk. Barely cast our ballots, so now we're out here at Nihon Matsuri. And and look, look who I found. There's Aubrey and Spencer, Danielle, Natalie, Bethany, and Kaylee. There's a lot of friends here. Mm-hmm. Danielle go. That's her. I'm eating. I'm eating. Want a bite? I just got word that the convention is starting again. They've counted the votes. It means I have to leave the festival. Danielle and Spencer and Aubrey are gonna go have fun without me. This is Gandama. It's just endless non-stops. Keeps going, you know? Hand-eye coordination, you know? That's so cool. 
I, I don't think I've ever actually seen someone successfully play with one. What's crazy is, is there's actually a pro team. We got done three and a half hours earlier than the Republicans did in their convention last week. And we've got a great slate of candidates and we have a new and improved party platform. You guys should check it out because actually there's probably a lot on there that you would agree with. Passion of the universe that has supported us all of our lives. We put our hands together and recite, Namo Amida Butsu. I place my reliance on the Buddha Amida. I didn't grow up Buddhist. I started to get interested in Buddhism when our minister taught, uh, gave a sermon about the religions of the world. When he gave the one on Buddhism, he tried to make it sound really negative, and it, to me it sounded like it made sense. We're supposed to focus on living in this moment. We believe that uh, our judgment comes day by day based on what we do and what we've done. She's Yay! cool. I have cool cousins. Whoa. She won. She won a, a, a prize for having a really cool costume. Check this Whoa. out. Check out that cool costume. She's so cool. Also, this really cute little kid came up and gave her these little flowers. Isn't that so cute? Oh man, what a great day this has been. The festival's over. The convention's over. Up here, there's a historical site. I'm gonna take a minute to to show you guys and tell you about something because it connects to the Utah War, and I'm obsessed. In 1858, at the conclusion of the Utah War, federal troops marched through Salt Lake City, but they were forbidden to stop except very briefly, right here, where you've probably been to see a jazz game. Now they stopped because General Johnston had to meet with the new governor, Alfred Cumming, who was at the time residing here at the Staines Mansion. Nowadays it's known as the Devereux Mansion, but back then it was owned by William Staines. So it's here at this spot, in this house, where the official surrender of Mormon forces took place. They raised the stars and stripes to mark the official surrender of Utah Territory. Utah is rad. <laughs>